Hey, what's up, guys? We're gonna use uh, the Sudsy Soapery, and this is uh, ra uh, Cola with Razzle Clay. So let's get the thumbnail real quick. Um, yeah, this is a uh, vegan soap, and Sudsy Soapery is one of those uh, artisans that I feel don't get enough love in the community. I don't know. I don't see many guys using it. Uh, I already have the pre-shave on, which is Parasso. Uh, we're using our Razor Rock 24 millimeters. Uh, um, synthetic here. It's been a while since I used a synthetic. Several shaves. And then we're using one of my straights. I've got to get this one shipped out. Um, so just wanted to test the edge. Cool. So let's go ahead and start lathering. I did uh, I did bloom this soap for a little bit, five minutes or so, and uh, so we'll see what we can get. I'm getting a little bit of a cooling sensation on my face, but how are you guys doing? Hope everyone is doing very well. The scent on this, <laughs> I remember when I first, uh, this was sent to me by Ruds, Rud Shaves. Ruds had made a video in a long time. Um, but I was sent this by Ruds, and I remember the very first video I did on this, I did a review. And this was like when I first started wet shaving. Um, and, uh, Started getting artisan soaps and that type of stuff. And <clears throat> I did a review on this and Sinatra Lennon commented on my review, was laughing basically because I said it smelled like like damp earth. And um, it's a little spicy, but in all honesty, it smells it's not a bad smell, but it but it's like a it's like an earthy, like an earthy smell. I don't necessarily know that I get cola. I don't know what that I mean, the razzle clay is basically just for slickness and whatnot. It's just an ingredient to help the lather and slickness. But as far as the razzle clay, I don't know what. I'm sorry, not the razzle clay. The, the coal. I don't know why. I don't get coal at all. So I don't know. But anyway, the soap the soap base itself is, is extremely good. Um, that's what I was saying. I don't know why. Uh, why the Sudsy Soapery doesn't get more love because. They really do have a great base and it's not super duper expensive either, you know. Um, a viewer did request that I purchase, I think it was Hend Hendrix, maybe? Hendrix Soap Company HC and C. Um, and I looked at their soaps, uh, but they're like, I don't know, 22 bucks a pop. Eh, you know, that's just for what we can get. Okay, let me let me not let me let me speak for myself only. For what I feel I can get <clears throat> um cheaper. I don't care if Hendrix is the best base in the world. I don't know if it is or not, I'm just saying. I'm just not gonna drop twenty-one dollars on a on a soap. Now you do get five ounces, the value is there. I'm not complaining, and I've dropped that money on soap before. I'm not but um, at this at this stage in my wet shaving career, I just rather purchase like a very very nice straight or another DE or you know something like that. I have enough freaking soaps, and all the soaps I have, if I if I have them at the moment, it's because I like their base. So you know. That, at this point, I'm not too big into purchasing uh, soaps. I, you know, would I like to try every single base, every single artisan out? There? Absolutely. But we're talking probably thousands of dollars on all the different bases I've tried. Or I have not. I have not tried. So, anyway. But you can see we have a grill, like a great, really very, very good lather. Um, it is triple butter. I've read the ingredients before on the actual uh, so, but it's a very good vegan base, like I said. So anyway, this specific scent, um, if you're looking for like an earthy, somewhat of a spicy earthy scent, maybe this is something that's for you. Um, personally, I wouldn't purchase this scent again. It's not bad, don't get me wrong, but it's just not for me. The scent is not for me. But I really do enjoy the base, so that's why I use it every couple of months, you know, 
because I really, really do enjoy this base. It's a very, very good base. And it's a good vegan, you know, if, if you're into the vegan soaps and you don't like tallow or lanolin or any of that, then this is a great option for you. So. Oh yeah, very, very smooth. You can tell slicing and dicing through the hair, no problem. So, well, actually that's that's probably a better cross section of the actual hair. But uh, but yeah, yeah, we're good. This razor is ready to go out. So I'm gonna clean it off here, sanitize it. Sanitize it, strop it up, <clears throat> chip it out, okay. Um, so let's, uh, what can we finish this up with? You know what? This was a joke by LP, but I had some pretty good shaves with it. It's a little assured razor. It's basically like a little mini, uh, this is the Vanderhagen and then this is the assured. I mean, obviously there's a little bit of a difference, but it's basically, in my opinion, like a little mini, uh, Vanderhagen VDH. And I just have one of these unmarked blades. I have no idea how long... I don't even know if this blade's sharp. We're about to find out. I have so many blades just sitting in this drawer down here that I don't that I don't use. Um, you, I mean, they they've been used, <laughs> but but I don't know the last time they were used. I think this was like a, a buck, right? Like I said, I think, you know, he bought it as a joke just to sin. But, you know, it's, I don't have any problem with it. Same thing with the Dorco. The Dorco, I think, was also a joke from LP. But pff, I enjoy that. I enjoy using that thing, too. My wife and I have been um, on a Japan ramen kick, and uh, well, let me let me let me rephrase that. We've been on a Japan ramen video kick. We've been watching it a lot. You know, when we went to Japan, we ate at Ichiran, we ate at Ipudu or Ipudo, whatever it's called. Um, we ate at both of those places, extremely good ramen, both of them, the, the pork broth and whatnot. Um, I, I, I really, I, I liked, we liked, um, we liked Ichiran better because it's more of like a personal experience as opposed to Ipudu where you kind of sit at a table with a whole bunch of people. Um, that you don't know, which is perfectly fine, but that's not me. I don't really like. But um, at the other one, at Ichiran, you have your own little personal booths. If you go there with multiple people, each of you have personal booths. Um, but it's, uh, anyway, it's much more personalized, but you could sit next to people. And like, when I say booths, it's like this little cubicle, like this little window, like literally... Literally, these are, it's like, uh, you have this much space. There's probably about, I don't know, maybe two foot between. Um, and then there's a little window where the people, where, where, the, where the workers will pull up the little bamboo curtain and give you your food. And that's how you order more food, etc. So, anyway, we enjoyed that a whole lot more. And, um, so, Tankatsu... Is is the most famous bra? There's a whole bunch of different ramen broths, but tankatsu is the the uh, pork bone broth and very flavorful and whatnot. And so we've been watching videos on that, and um, I think we're gonna try to make it uh, maybe this weekend or next weekend. 
We have to go to the Asian market and see, well, first we're gonna go to our local grocery store because we have to go there anyway on the weekends to buy food. But then we'll go to uh, an Asian market and pick up whatever we can't find at, at our typical grocery store. So I'm very interested in seeing how, how it's gonna come out. Um, we've looked at several different uh, ways of doing it. And I think, there's like the slow, the slow method, and then there's the quick method. Now they say the slow method is a lot more flavorful and and uh, the biggest part is it's more traditional. Um, basically, it takes 12 to 14 hours. Um, and you're constant not, not constantly, but you're having to stir a couple times an hour. So the pork bones don't, uh, don't settle and, and scorch or burn. So... I think that's the way we're going to go. Um, it's going to be interesting. I'll let you guys know how it comes out. And, and I'll take some pictures and put them on the gram. The gram. <laughs> I forgot who I heard. Call Instagram the gram. Instagram, owned by Facebook, well, not Facebook anymore, right? What are they called? Uh, Meta? They're called Meta. Okay. Well, whatever. And then they're coming out with the Metaverse. Ooh. Okay. More stuff to pull people from reality. That's what we need. That's what we need. You guys realize how much we use our phones? Holy cow. Or technology, period. Um, have you guys seen the movie? Uh, it was with, um, shoot, who's the actor? Tom Hanks. And he's on the island. What is that called? Island Man? No. It's when he, he's on the flight and the flight goes down. Shoot, there's Wilson, the little volleyball. I can't even think of the freaking movie now. Anyway, he's sitting, he's sitting, um, there was a meme that had that picture of him sitting on the log with Wilson, looking at the campfire or whatever that he made. And um, the, the caption was something like, um, how I feel without being, how, how I feel without Wi-Fi for an hour or something like that. <laughs> and and, the, and Tom Hanks' character sitting there with Wilson on a stick or whatever. And they're both looking at the fire like they're out of their, like they've lost their minds. And uh, it was just funny. It's like, you know, like obviously that's just, comical and, and it's just meant for laughs but like it's true the good that the good thing though i think humans adapt very very quickly um i, I can't say all humans but i think the majority do and um i think if something were to happen where we don't have i mean look at ida you know, when Ida hit over here, um, I was without power for, what, three weeks, four weeks, whatever it was. And um, no power, no internet, no nothing. Barely even had cellular service. And, you know. The first, the first two weeks were, were really rough. Cause you had nothing to do, you know? And then, um, because we weren't working and then I didn't have TV, I didn't have anything. So, but you know, after those two weeks, it really did get much easier. The nights really didn't get easier as far as sleeping because it was just hot. Um, you know, we're, we're conditioned with AC and that's a whole different story. And when you don't have it, I like, to, I like to sleep when it's very cold, so, you know, instead of it being like, you know, low 70s, it's like 80. Yeah, it, it has a burden on your, your sleep. 
But other than that, and I would say even towards the end, like the past, the last probably three or four days when I had no power, um, I actually slept surprisingly well. I think my body just adapted overnight, uh, or, or my body adapted um, sleeping at night to just being used to not having being used to not having the uh, the AC on. That took a lot longer to adapt. Not having Wi-Fi was a bit quicker. Yeah, so, and you know, it was it was a very weird feeling. Like I felt like going outside and making a fire a lot. I don't know why. I think that's just something innate. I think that's just something that humans, um, you know, our ancestors, whatever. I just felt like going outside and, and making like a little bonfire for whatever reason. I didn't. I didn't have the, um, there was a burn ban for a while here because um, of all the trees and stuff being down. If you had, you know, problem like the fire got out of control, fire trucks wouldn't get, wouldn't be able to get down to you because of the, tr the roads being blocked and that type of thing. And so they had a, a burn ban where you couldn't burn anything. People still did, but anyway, I don't know how I got off on that whole tangent, but sorry. It's a nice three three pass shave. Uh, we definitely knocked down all of the whiskers. I don't think we had a single weeper, which is different for me. Actually, you know what? Right here on my Adam's apple, I do. That's just a little redness that was there previously, and then I've been dealing with like this little bump. It was an ingrown hair. I pulled the I pulled the hair out, and then. It was one of those weird ones where it was like, it was a bump, but you didn't see a hair, but then I got a needle and like, I have a problem like picking at things. So I was picking at it and I was like, oh look, there's a, there's a hair there. So I, I was like, oh, it must just be kind of short. Well, I pulled it and it was probably a quarter of an inch of a hair. It was kind of like wound in there and a quarter of an inch is that long, but you know, it's not what I'm typically used to. <laughs> I'm used to like a little short stubble. But yeah, it must've been under the skin for quite some time anyway. Um, we're going with Old Spice aftershave. This was sent by LP. It's the original Old Spice. Very nice scent. I really, really enjoy that. Go ahead and just spritz that right on the, the skin. My face feels, like I said, even though this is a non-tallow soap, because of all the butters and whatever else is in here, um, coconut oil, castor oil, cocoa butter, cocoa butter, shea butter. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of a lot of good ingredients in here. Even though it's it's not a tallow base, so it fe my my skin feels very nice after the shave. And that's um that's something that I really like, you know. It's a really really nice feeling when your skin's like it feels moisturized, it feels hydrated. Um hydrated. I, I, yeah. I said it weird the first time. But uh yeah, yeah, it feels good. It feels very good. So let's go ahead and spritz some of this on there. Very, very nice. We're going to rub that in. And that's going to be the shave, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. I need to go get a haircut, get this mop taken off. You can flip me over, hang me by my ankles, and mop the floor with this thing. But uh, anyway, I'll see you guys for the next shave. Hope you enjoyed. And um, oh, yeah, I guess I don't know if I said it or not, but I hope everybody is having a great uh, end of the week. I'm recording this on Thursday night, which is the, the, the 13th or 12th, either the 12th or 13th of January. Um, probably won't be uploaded until this weekend, um, but anyway. So yeah, all that uh, all in under 20 minutes. That's pretty cool. See you guys next day.